what's up everyone this is weapon x comics uh welcome to my latest haul video uh, i've got a lot of great books uh to take a look at today um got some really great acts of kindness uh hit a few hit up a few um cons uh a couple of road trips uh yeah bunch of good stuff though Lots of really great dollar books. Uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, found I got a personal grail. A really awesome book. <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, for a really good price too. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, quickly before I start, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Randy. Hey, what's up dude? I've been buying comics from this guy from since I was a kid. And uh, last time I saw him, he, he actually recognized my voice, I guess, from the videos. And you know... <laughs> He's like, hey, aren't you Weapon X? I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, hey, Randy, uh, you know, it's always good to talk to you. And uh, also, uh, Nicolas from Argentina. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, always cool to hear. Uh, well, um, I think that's like the first person uh, from, from you know, distant land that's actually commented on my video. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I thought that was really cool. You know, uh, I encourage anybody... Anyone from a from a distant land that's watching my videos do a comment. I get a kick out of it. I think that's really cool. Thank you. Um, uh, also, uh, got some you know the AO mentioning the AOKs. I got some stuff from uh, Longshanks, uh, the Doom, Little Doom, and also um, I usually mention a few uh, channels for you guys to go ahead and check out and subscribe to. Uh, this in this haul, I'm going to go ahead and recommend Comic Book Fever, Nerd vs Fat. Beauty Comics and Comic Sniper. So uh, anyone I just mentioned that actually makes videos, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description to their channels. Please uh, subscribe and uh, you know give them a thumbs up on their videos and uh, tell them I said hello. All right, so moving along, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I want to start out with a couple of eBay books. Uh, fortunately, they're just buy it now. As I haven't won an auction in months. Um, I found this really cool Crosswind number one. Uh, this is a Jesse James Comics exclusive. I believe it's limited to 500 copies. Um, it was really, really kind of tough book to find. All the copies online, they were asking like 30 bucks. But the store itself threw up a bunch of copies. And I actually got this one for $4.74 shipped. So, um, yeah, if anything happens with Crosswind, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I got this. I actually read the first couple issues and, and I did enjoy it. It's a good story so far. Uh, this is a uh, book of death follow bloodshot number one uh, variant of this. This is the first uh, modern or the uh, the retcon first appearance of uh, Rampage. So if anything happens with Rampage, you know I got this. I ended up getting this for five dollars fifty cents shipped. Uh, let's see. Let's move on to the acts of kindness. Uh, first of all, I ran into a little doom at a, a convention, and uh, he he just handed me these two books. Uh, this is G.I. Joe number 33, um, Michael Turner cover. Um, not too long ago, I actually found the sketch cover, and I didn't have this one, so th th I actually really needed this book, or I needed it. So uh, thanks, dude. And he also uh, gave me this uh, Spirits of Vengeance uh, number 6, really awesome Venom cover. So, yeah, that was really cool. Thanks, dude. Um, uh, moving on to uh, <laughs> The Doom. Uh, the Doom had a sale uh, not too long ago. He was selling a bunch of books for a dollar a piece. I only want a couple, but he ended up throwing in uh, a few more books, you know, with, you know, without me actually ordering them. So uh, thank you so much for that. That was really cool. You didn't have to do that. Uh, this was actually one of the books I won. I was really happy to get it. Uh, out of all the books I saw, I think this, is what, this was the one that I had wanted. Um, it's Sensational She-Hulk, I believe it's number 12, it's the variant edition, but um, what makes it special is actually it's uh, remarked by uh, Ed McGinnis. So you can see the Hulk's face there. I thought that was really cool, so I, I threw in my bid on the or <laughs> I threw in, um, you know, a request on this book, and uh, I guess I was lucky enough to have gotten it. So I'm really, really happy to have that. Uh, moving on. Um that there. Um, I also got this Wolverine Weapon X number one variant. Ben Riley the Scarlet Spider number one variant. Greg Land. Uh, Stuff of Legend. Free comic book day. I got one. Two copies of that. 
Uh, Marvel Zombies, number one, the third print variant. Uh, this was one of the ones I actually uh, I bought. Um, cool. And also uh, Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur. I believe this is number 19, a sketch variant. So, awesome. Thank you, thank you so much, Doom. That was really cool of you to do. And as always, uh, Longshanks really hooked it up. Uh, he actually, oh, I got, um, he gave me some really cool books for Christmas. I'll keep those aside. And, uh, but just other random books he's given me. And, you know, um, I got this uh, Mighty Thor number 193. New Mutants number 99. First full, uh, what is it, Shatterstar and Feral. Superman American Alien number 7. Scarlet number 2. Jack of Fables number 1. Uh, what is this? Uh, the DC One Million number four. It was the first appearance of Superman Prime. Uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number six. Number seven. Uh, this really awesome Avengers number forty-nine. Great cover with Magneto. Uh, Avengers number twenty-four. Twenty-three. Uh, Walking Dead number one hundred two. The second print variant. Uh, Punisher War Journal number 20, first appearance of Lady Gorgon. Uh, Invincible uh, Iron Man number 10, this is the second print variant, first appearance of uh, Rescue, Rescue Armor. Power of Warlock number 8. Superman in 52 number 40, I believe this is a 1 in 50 variant. Uh, Superman Unchained number 1, uh, Jim Lee uh, San Diego Comic Con variant, so thank you. And uh, I also got this uh, new Suicide Squad in 52 number three. I actually been looking for this book for quite some time and uh, he got a really great deal on another copy. I guess he upgraded his and he, he let me have his original copy. I believe that's how it worked. Now, moving on to my uh, Christmas gift. He actually gave me this uh, Moon Knight 188 variant. I believe it's a one in 25, really cool cover. Uh, Mighty Avengers number three, the m, &M variant. Uh, this really cool Batgirl, uh, what is this, the uh, Purple Rain, a cover swipe. And last but certainly not least, this uh, Dirty Pair Run from the Future, uh, Adam Hughes variant. So he got a really, really good deal on this book. And... Um, yeah, I guess it was just in time for Christmas, and he handed it over to me, so. Uh, really nice shape. I, I'm probably going to get this thing pressed out. He, um, as soon as I opened it, the first thing he told me was, hey, uh, why don't you sell this and get yourself a New Mutants 98? So, <laughs> uh, that's definitely a book I would, I'd love to have, but what are you going to do? I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. You know, it's just... Um, it's a gift, so I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, really, really great book and uh, really tough to find. And this, is, this book's going for probably about 200 bucks right now in this condition. So Ooh, it's nuts. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, so moving on. Uh, these next books here are from Spiro's Heroes. Uh, I know I mention uh, Spiro's Heroes a lot. And I also mentioned that I really don't uh, go through the bins there anymore just to make sure everybody um, has a chance to get through the stuff. And I'm not like, you know, taking everything good out of the place. I, I really don't. Um, but uh, we showed up there and I get we hadn't been there in quite some time, Longshanks and I. And um, he told us, uh, oh, hey, um, we're having a, a sale. Everything, all 50 cent books in the store are 25 cents. All trade paperbacks are eighty percent off, and uh, you know everything else will probably give you a little, uh, cut you a little bit more of a deal on than he normally does. So uh, we actually showed up. Uh, I think there was only a few days left on the sale, and it had been going for almost a month. So uh, I decided to to go ahead and jump in, and uh, Longshanks did. Longshanks did as well. Uh, he um, Actually, while we were there, he pulled out a ton of DC Universe books, and I ended up uh, benefiting from that. He, he, you know, he was finding doubles all over the place, so you know, he kept passing them over to me. So uh, most all these books I got here are for twenty-five cents. 
So we're gonna go ahead and start off. This is Adventures of Superman 508, DC Universe variant. And oh wait a minute. You know what? I screwed that up. Uh yeah. Alright. Alright, so uh it's funny, after we paid, uh these were leftovers. And these actually just got thrown in. He was like, ah, just take them, get them out of here. So this Adventures of Superman number 508, uh, uh, two copies of that. Uh, Superboy number eight, DC Universe uh, number five, uh, another number 508, another one, uh, Superman 85, got two copies of that, 86, uh, 31 of Man of Steel, Adventures 511, uh, Superman 89. Uh, this is number 90. Let's see these. Just uh, that's it. All right, so these were actually freebies, <laughs> so I didn't actually have to pay for those. Uh, I was going to show those at the end. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we got Action Comics number 695, uh, 698, uh, Adventures of Superman 508, 509. Uh, 514, Superman number 85, 87, 89, 91, uh, 94. Looks like I got two copies of that here for some reason. Uh, Man of Steel 29, 33, uh, Superboy number 2, I believe this is his first appearance at Knockout. It's kind of tanned, but whatever. Uh, another Superboy number 5, another one, uh, number 8. Steel number four, five, six, uh, Justice League of America, 84, 85, 87, 89, uh, Justice League International 60, Final Night number four, there's two copies of that, uh, The Flash number 87, and that'll do it for the DC Universe variants. So keep in mind these were all 25 sets. Uh, also, I found this Marvel Spotlight, uh, what number is this, 46, with Deadpool. Uh, I thought I might be, I thought this might be an upgrade, but it turns out my copy is better. Uh, Shield, number two, second printing. I just thought it was an interesting cover, and I thought it was uh, its own variant, but I guess that's the cover for the uh, regular issue. Um, this is uh, Death Talks About Life, and actually... Um, the um, mo uh, the person that uh, death was modeled after just recently passed away uh, of cancer. Um, uh, pretty terrible, actually. Um, uh, so I, I found this uh, book in a, in a in a bag, and I didn't realize how thin it was. I, I thought it was just one book, but it turns out there was multiples in there because this thing's only like two pages. Uh, so I got one, two, three, four five six of these so um, I guess that came out to about four cents a piece uh, this is bloodshot number 34 the the original uh, first appearance of rampage uh, new Avengers number 27 what was this the first uh, something to do with Ronan uh, nothing else really cool cover uh, cowboy bebop number four this is the first print I found one two three copies of this and uh, this isn't really the money book, but if you find the set of this, it, it can go for some money. Um, this, in high grade, probably about a $10 book. So, yeah, found three of these. Uh, Astonishing X-Men number 43, uh, Art Adams cover. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I, I need it for my run. So, you know, I'm happy to get this for $0.25. Cents. I really didn't want to pay more than a dollar for it. Um, Astonishing X-Men number 13. It doesn't really go for anything either, but I got this for a quarter. Uh, the Megacon 2006 variant. So, uh, Inhumans number zero. Uh, just a book I thought had a cool cover. Uh, what If number four. Uh, Marvel Point One number one. First appearance, full appearance of Kamala Khan. Um... Uh, X-Men number 65, this is the first appearance of, uh, what's his name, Cecilia Reyes. Uh, X-Men 269, really cool Mark Brooks cover, uh, X-Men Legacy. Um, 
it's it's kind of beat up, so that's unfortunate, I think. Yeah, it wasn't in the best shape, but I really like the cover. Uh, cable number three, first appearance of Weasel. New Mutants number 88, just uh, um, 93. Nothing really special other than just cool covers. Uh, Our Worlds at War, Harley Quinn. I think for a while this was about a $20 book. I'm pretty sure it's cooled way off since then. Uh, but I wasn't going to leave it there for a quarter. And uh, these I paid a little bit more for. These were out of uh, the front room, not the 50 cent room. Uh, this is Mad Max Fury Road, uh, the Nerd Block variant. Uh, doesn't really go for anything, but I, I really enjoyed um, the comics based on the movie. Uh, I got this one for two bucks. I also got this uh, Spawn New Stand Edition number three. Uh, I paid three dollars for this, so I must have paid three dollars for this number two as well, New Stand. Also got this Venom Carnage number three. I think I paid three dollars for this. Yeah, three bucks. So, cool. Uh, I gotta get the stapler back in there. Let's see how we're doing with time. All right, we're doing okay with time. We probably went through about a little over a hundred books. <laughs> So, um, next we got the trades I bought at, uh, Spiro's. I actually found this on a shelf and I thought it was interesting. Um, I cracked it open to see what it was and it's actually, let's see if I can show it to you. It's actually, um, it's a microfiche of the first issue of Batman. And not only that, it's the first five issues of Batman. So, I don't know if you get how well you guys can see that. So, not like I really have a means to look at this, but I just thought it was cool. Uh, I think Elliot ended up giving this to me for the, you know, issues one through five of this for uh, $3. So let me go ahead and put this away real quick. So, yeah. Has anybody ever seen anything like that? I've never, I've never run into these in the past. So, that was pretty interesting. Alright. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we're at it. You see that uh, Warriors game back there? Um, for a while, that was easily like a... That was like an easy 60 bucks. Um, I'm pretty sure the, the price of that has cooled off because I found that, uh, for $10. So, uh, the PlayStation 2 version of that Warriors game. All right. Now, um, moving on to the trades I got from, uh, Spiros that day during the sale. Uh, I got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collected, uh, book, volume one. Uh, this has issues one through, one through 11, as well as the, uh, standalone, um, Issues for the individual turtles like Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, Leonardo, they're all in there. Um, so yeah, ended up getting this for what, $2. Uh, I got all these, all of these, most of these for two bucks. Let me see if I can get this. There it goes. Uh, also, um, volume two. Volume three, these two bucks. Volume 4, Volume 5, uh, 6. Also, um, I found two of the colorized uh, colorized trades. Uh, this is um, the first four issues in color. Got this for two bucks. You can see the price there. And uh, number four. So, yeah, that was cool. Um, this had been in the store for a long time. It's got some kind of, <laughs> it had some kind of scribble on it, uh, but it's sealed. And that's kind of the reason why I took it. I just thought it was an interesting cover. Uh, didn't really know, don't really know much about it. It's a uh, Central Wolverine number one, volume two. I'm not even sure what issues are in it, but um, I finally managed to track down another one of these online and it turns out that's that scribble there is supposed to be Bill Sin, uh, Sienkiewicz's signature 
So I figure he must have been really tired when he signed this one. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, this edition was only sold on QVC. Uh, so you had to order it through the TV. And um, yeah, they're all signed by him. So yeah, that's cool. Um, I think I got this one for $3. And I know I just showed that book. Uh, I think I paid like eight fifty nine dollars for it or something, and finally, you know, finally one pops up in a Spiro store, and I get this one for three bucks. So, yeah, this one I, I had had a really hard time finding this book for cheap. Um, all right, let me put some stuff down real quick and move on. All right, really cool dollar finds here. Road trip dollar fines. Check that out. So how much do you think I paid for that book? <laughs> uh, so this is Green Lantern number 55, the variant. Uh, Lobo, really sought after book. Um, I got really lucky. And uh, I was going through the dollar bins of this store. Um, and uh, bam, this one popped up. Actually, <laughs> uh, I don't really do that very... It doesn't really happen very often where I actually gasped. Like, <gasps> you know, like... <laughs> I gasped when I when I pulled this out of the box and I just put it down real quick, and I you know I slowly like looked at it again and then I you know I put it upside down so yeah I got this book for a buck yeah really cool happy to get that um, I ended up paying a cover price for this at that store uh, Amazing Spider Man number seven ninety five the first uh, was it uh, it's like the Red Goblin or something it's like the Green Goblin with uh, I read this book uh, with uh, with the Carnage symbiote. Uh, this is G.I. Joe number 34. Yeah, this is G.I. Joe number 34, the version variant. Um, in high grade, this book can go for like 40 to 60 bucks. I ended up getting this one for $3. Um, this is Alias number 24. This is supposed to be the first uh, modern appearance of the Purple Man, but um, it... A lot of us saw um, Vin Cruz's video a long time ago and he actually pointed out that uh, Purple Man had appeared in X-Man, uh, the X-Man series uh, previous to this. But anyway, you know, I, I found it. I wasn't going to leave it there for a dollar. Um, yeah, these are more dollar books. Uh, those, a couple of them were, I think. Uh, this is number 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and... Believe it or not, you see that Green Lantern Corps right there? That was also a dollar book. Uh, Green Lantern Corps number 201. First appearance at Kilowog. Uh, this copy is so nice, I actually mylar it. And it is, uh, believe it or not, a, um, a big upgrade to my copy. So, for a buck, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, I also found this Fables number one, another book I didn't want to pay full price for. Uh, since it's in a prestige format book, um, really couldn't find it. I've never seen it for under a cover price, and I didn't want to pay, well, I think it's like 10, 15 bucks or something. I ended up finding this one for a buck, so I was really happy about that. I also found a Fables number two. Too bad there wasn't a Fables, no, uh, <laughs> there was a good run of Fables, but uh, the number one wasn't in there. And I found this number two, though. Uh, this Blood Pack number one. Um, it actually has, uh, see this post-it note here? Uh, this EB is credited as the producer, and there's a bunch of um, production notes inside of the book. It, it almost looks like um, this was, uh, before it went into print, this was like a, a proof or something. I don't know. Uh, I also found, oh, this is a buck. Um, this Deathstroke New 52, number five variant, uh, you know, with Batman on it. This is a, I guess, pretty uh, de desirable book. Um, and high, like, Mint, it's like near mint mint. It's uh, about a sixty dollar book, I think. Um, so yeah, yeah, I found it for a buck. It's probably like a VF. Um, Green Lantern, Colonel Sanders, number three. <laughs> this book's ridiculous. I guess this was a uh, giveaway at the San Diego Comic Con. Uh, it's pretty funny read. It's really stupid. Uh, it, it, the cover's awesome though, so I couldn't leave it. You know, as soon as I pulled that out, I, was, <laughs> I laughed at it and picked it up. But check that out. Uh, Blackest Night, Wonder Woman number three. Uh, this is the variant, and um, out of the three variants, I mean, they're all you know, going for money, but this is the money book. Uh, Longshanks actually passed this copy over to me, 
So he's like, <laughs> so he, he already has his, so uh, he was nice enough to do that for me. Thanks, dude. So that was really awesome. Uh, check this book out. Uh, this is, what book is this? Uh, Soul Fire. This is limited to 750 copies. It's from the Pittsburgh Comic Book Convention. Pittsburgh Comic Con. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... So a copy of this in uh, like VF minus just sold raw for about $30. There's a uh, slabbed copy of this for hundred and I think $115 shipped. So um, other than that, I really couldn't get any information on it. So uh, for a buck, I guess, you know, I, I, you know take a, I took a chance on it and maybe it's worth something. I don't know if you guys know anything about these uh, Michael Turner's. I've got a few of them here. Uh, you, please let me know. So, cool Michael Turner cover, if nothing else. Uh, don't really know anything about these stories, though. Uh, this is Fathom, Dawn of War Beginnings, uh, limited to 750 copies, another um, Michael Turner cover. Uh, this book, um, I only found one copy of this online on eBay, and they're asking $143 for it. Uh, there's no sales, and there's no other copies of it available anywhere, or not, not that I've been able to see. And uh, possibly uh, the big book, I guess, from these these uh, Michael Turner books. Uh, this is uh, Aspen from the Wizard World East, number one. Uh, I think this is limited to 1,500 copies. Yeah. Um, this book, uh, the only... I found three copies of this online. Raw, somebody's asking $367 or best offer. Uh, and there's two slabbed copies. I think they're 9 eighths. And they, they're asking 500 bucks for it. So somebody let me know what this thing is. <laughs> I really don't know anything about it. And there are no uh, sold copies of this. So, yeah. So I just took a chance on it. It might be, you know, might be something really cool. Um, see, I found this book there. Uh, I guess I was lucky enough to get this. Uh, it seemed like um, this book like kind of blew up for a little while. I mean, the last time I checked was I think the day after this came out was it last Thursday and this was already like 60 bucks. So, um, I believe this is, uh, X-Men red number one, uh, pretty interesting story. Um, uh, really cool cover. I guess, um, Pepe Laras. And I ended up paying uh, $12 for that. And uh, I also found this copy of She-Hulk number one. This is an upgrade to my copy. Um, I paid $9.50 for this. And uh, another really cool uh, dollar book I found at that store uh, is this. Boom. Darkwing Duck Annual number one. Uh, it's actually signed by, who is this, Tad Stones? It says, Stay Dangerous Brad. <laughs> it's got a little smudge there, but other than that, you know, really nothing wrong with it. So, hey, happy to have this book. Really cool cover. Um, so I guess I'll put that over there. And... Yeah, part of one of the road trips, I think we stopped by a uh, was it a thrift shop, and they had a few comic books there. Ended up pulling this out for two bucks, and um, actually, up, this is a, a big upgrade for me. Uh, Magnus Robot Fighter number uh, five. Um, this is actually the first full appearance of Rye, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a, on the other side of this book. That's that's where you'll find it. Uh, so yeah, it still has the uh, card in it and everything. So that was cool. It's a good find. Uh, also, oh, check that out. That's pretty cool. So this store only found uh, two books. This is my original copy of this Amazing Heroes number 39. I found an upgraded copy. Uh, I think I paid three bucks for this. I just want to show you why this is special. So you can see there, um, there's a preview for the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. So, yeah, there it is. So. Uh, if you're into, if you're a fan of Venom, you might want to pick that up. So this is Amazing Heroes number 39. Go ahead and put that 
way. Alright, so yeah, paid three bucks for this guy. And I got this Walking Dead number 108, first appearance of uh, Ezekiel and Shiva for four dollars. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bad Avenger was talking about this book, and I found out about it through Longshank. So I just want to make sure credit goes where it's due. Um, so uh, let me see. What was he saying? Okay, so this guy's the hunter. He's uh, Wonder Woman's son, and um, he he put it, he, he had a <coughs> very good he put a very good case forward that uh, Hunter might actually be uh, Batman's uh, son as well. So um, I, he I think he kind of put a little bit of a retraction out there because uh, the story seems to have shifted from that, and it might not be going in that direction anymore. <coughs> Excuse me, but. Um, yeah, if nothing else, it's uh, it's Wonder Woman's son. So, and it's also the first appearance of all of these uh, other characters. Like I said, Cyborg's kid, Flash's kid, and it's the Green uh, Green Lantern's kids, uh, Aquaman's kid. So, yeah, if nothing else, it's cool for that. Oh yeah, and this is really tough to find, by the way. <laughs> it was missing from every store I went to to go find a copy. For myself, it was just gone. It was a ghost. Okay. Uh, okay. So there's a book uh, Longshanks let me know about. He actually, um, uh, when he heard about uh, what was wrong with it, he went out and picked up these two copies for me, and I just you know paid them back for him. This is Head Lopper number four. I got both covers here, and um, these are actually recalled. Um, there's uh, re repeating pages uh, in the book, so you don't actually get the whole story. So that's why they were recalled. <coughs> I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, he made the right move picking them up for me because I definitely would want something like that. Um, at the time, they were going for like 50, 60 bucks for the pair. It's really cooled down. You probably get like 15, 20 for the pair die now in high grade. But, uh, you know, if I was going to do that, I guess I would have let them go already. I just want to keep these. Actually, I haven't really sold anything in a very long time so uh, I don't think it's something I'm going to be doing anymore uh, okay moving on alright uh, this is a cool Greg Land variant uh, I picked this up at a store I think I paid cover price for it um, a really cool Archangel cover uh, this is Batman White Knight number 3 I got uh, that one and I also got uh, this cover I got two copies of this I guess it's the first appearance of uh, was it Neo Joker or something like that I actually haven't had a chance to read these yet alright so um, uh, this store this is the only book I picked up uh, it's a Neil Adams cover but um, the reason I picked it up is uh, Let's see, Longshanks uh, brought it over to me and he pointed out uh, it was a uh, it was a Mark Jewelers variant. And I, and I buy, you know, whenever I find a Mike, Mark Jewelers, I usually pick it up. So, um, <laughs> really cool cover. It's got a little tear on it, but it was only a buck. It's right there. It's only a buck, so yeah, I'm happy, happy to take it for a dollar. <coughs> uh, this store, uh, yeah, these were only yeah dollar books. Uh, I thought this was really cool, though. This is Captain Marvel number 62. This is the final issue of uh, this run. <coughs> and, yeah, it, as soon as I, you know, I, was, I uh, pulled out of the box, I noticed that uh, the color's all off. So uh, it's missing a lot of cover, uh, color. So it's uh, it's an error. Like, it's a pretty big error, too. Uh, you can see um, Captain Marvel looks all weird. looks all wonky. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. So it's happy to take that. Uh, this is Fantastic Four from the Marvel Milestone Editions. I loved these Marvel Milestones when I was a kid, so I saw this for a buck. I was going to leave it. Um, not sure if I already have this. Uh, New Mutants number 14. This is uh, Consensus First. Uh, Ileana's Magic. Got this for a buck. Uh, let's see. Moving on. So, Alright, so this is... Uh, let's see. 
uh, Doctor Strange number 382. This is a second print variant. Uh, I got this for cover price. Oh, it's just a return of uh, the Sentry from death. So that's pretty cool. So if anything's going down with the Sentry, this is probably a good book to have. And when is something not going down with the Sentry, right? Uh, this 382 is a first print, uh, also cover price. All right, this store, um, all right, so this was uh, one of the road trips, I think. Uh, I found a, a few really good books here, so I, I was really happy. Um, the Killer Be Killed, this was one of the first books I found there. I ended up getting this book for five bucks. Uh, first print, number one. Uh, this has been optioned for something. I've been reading, uh, <laughs> it's funny, I've been reading Long Shanks copies, and I really enjoyed this book. Uh, I, I've actually been picking up um uh, my own run but uh i haven't been able to find number one for under twenty dollars so i was really happy when i found this one for five uh kid lobotomy number one this is a book i had missed out on um i believe this is a one per store and uh this was actually a uh, recalled uh copy as you can see here, um, see all this gold here? The, the character shouldn't be colored gold. There's like tiger print all along the uh, the edge here and the back of the book. And all of that was supposed to be gold, uh, or leaving the character to, you know, be seen. But uh, they actually reversed it here. So, um, yeah, this was, it's not really going for much, but, you know, it's a uh, cool error. I'm always happy to pick that kind of stuff up. Okay, this is a Magneto Rex. Uh, this is a variant to this uh, sketch variant. Uh, just a book I've been looking for for a while, and uh, I think they go for about fifteen bucks online on eBay. I never really wanted to pay that, but how I'll take for five bucks. I also found this uh, Killer Be Killed number four in their dollar bin, so happy to take that. This was one I needed for my run. Uh, Crosswind number two. Uh, this was a good read. Uh, Batman Year 3, uh, number 436, first appearance of Jason Todd, uh, first print. Uh, real easy way to find out whether or not you have a first print or a second print is if you see blue, uh, this DC logo, that's a first print. If you see green, second print. So just uh, just make sure uh, that, that happens to a lot of people who thinks that, think they have first prints. Um, I'm sure that something very similar to that has happened to me many times <laughs> um power man and uh, iron fist number 54 is the first time they're called the uh, heroes for hire oh wow um, these are both dollar books uh totally awesome hulk number what number is this 21 first print so it's part of that whole uh what the hell's this guy's name yeah whatever um christ on infinite earth number one buck yeah, uh, Judge Dredd number one, the American first Judge Dredd. I got this for a buck. And um, also I got this Fugitoid uh, number one. Uh, this magazine was done by uh, the creators of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, it actually crosses over uh, with uh, TMNT at the end of this book. Um, Fugitoid's actually in trouble. He's being hunted down. And uh, he pulls uh, the Ninja Turtles into his dimension to... To, to rescue him. So uh, this actually takes place right after Raphael, the, the Raphael uh, one shot um, before issue, it's either four or five. Also, I found this, uh, this comics journal number 214. The, the only reason I got it is for the cover. I just thought it was really cool. Evan Dorkin uh, cover, milk and cheese. And it's a really nice shape too. All right, let's see if I can put this stuff aside. All right. All right, uh, this book here, I forgot what it actually is. <laughs> uh, this is a version, you know, uh, Rogue Variant. I believe this came out about two weeks ago. I think I also paid, yeah, I paid, yeah, I paid 12 bucks for this. I guess that was going, this is going great for these things when they come out new. Um, yeah, so I was happy to pick that up. And, um, I picked up a few dollar books at this shop. Uh, I probably should have skipped out, skipped these Miss Marvels because they're, uh, when I got them back, I actually saw they were kind of beat up. 
uh, number 42 and number 39, just a cool Mike Diodato cover. And this one just because it's Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Deadpool in it. Let's see. Uh, this ba Batman uh, Dark Detective number one. Uh, really cool Joker cover. In high grade, this book, uh, I was actually surprised to find out this book goes for about 15, 20 bucks. So, yeah, it's happy to pick that up. <clears throat> Check those out. Uh, Extraordinary X-Men number one, J. Scott Campbell variant, as well as... Man. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number one, J. Scott Campbell variant. Uh, so, these books go for about trying to I want to say about 40 to 60 bucks a piece I said what did I pay for them I didn't pay anywhere near that uh, looks like I got each one of them for yep uh, $12 each so I got really lucky with that um, I just showed up at this store right when they were um, I guess they just finished pricing some books or something and uh, I noticed that box was out on the counter and I just started digging through it and yeah, when I saw the price, I was like, yes, I walked in just at the right time for these. <laughs> uh, so these are the um, J. Scott Campbell exclusive covers. I guess I'm pretty sure you had to order these. So, yeah, 12 bucks, not too bad. Really, really nice shape, too. Those... All right. Chugging along. Let's see how else we can get through this stuff. That's not good. All right. All right. So this was at a convention. Uh, just a bunch of dollar books. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 344. This is the regular edition and the newsstand. First appearance of Cletus Cassidy and possibly Cardiac. Uh, Marvel team-up number 100. First appearance of Karma. Iron Man 281, first cameo of War Machine. Uh, X-Force number 116, first appearance of Dupe and the Ecstatics. Marvel Comics Presents number 85, first appearance of Cyber. Uh, Machine Man number 19, first appearance of Jack-O-Lantern. Uh, funny thing is, I found like 30 copies of this book. Uh, I just kept one for myself. I didn't want to buy the rest of them. And I, <laughs> I ended up passing them over to uh, Little Doom. So, yeah, if you're wondering where that huge stack he had <laughs> came from, I actually passed them over to him. Uh, Batman number 475, first appearance of Renee Montoya. Goes on to become the question. I got two copies of that for a buck each. Uh, X-Men number 188. Um, really nothing special, just in high grade. And I guess I was upgrading my copy. And since there were two of them, I just grabbed it. Uh, Star Wars Dark Empire 2, uh, number 5. This first appearance of the Solo Twins. Uh, Avengers number 195, first... Uh, cameo i guess appearance of the taskmaster even though he's uh he can be seen plain as day and uh he you know it says his name the taskmaster uh they prefer 196 because he's on the cover green lantern number 48 first appearance kyle rayner batman new adventures number 408 uh this is the retcon um first appearance of uh jason todd or uh, the retcon origin of jason todd he originally had um, uh, was it? Uh, Dick Grayson's origin, same, pretty much the same origin, uh, but they, they changed it up here. Uh, it's actually a very good read. I wanted to uh, read the next issue too, so I got to track that one down now if I don't already have it. Um, but yeah, this this was a much better read than the book that's actually regarded as his first appearance. Um, his uh, new X Men number one thirty four first appearance of Quentin Quire. Oh yeah. Long shanks pass this one over to me. Uh, uh, New X Men number one twenty nine, second appearance of Phantom X. Uh, another, I got another copy of this. It was like fifteen twenty now. Um, New X Men one fifteen, first appearance of Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who's in the new Deadpool movie. Um, Moon Knight Saga. This is a free copy. Um, I actually ended up getting this for free, so yeah, been paying me for that. Uh, Fantastic Four number 558. This is the first mention of um, Old Man Logan, right? And But I, I think the reason I picked it up, it has something to do with the Marquee of Death. Um, 
So New Gods, uh, number one, Millennium Edition for a buck. Ghost Rider, number 94. This is a finale issue. This was published years after um, it was canceled. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, number 267. Uh, Little Doom found a, a bunch of these. And I, I, I've already got a couple copies of this. So I didn't really care, but I, I took out a decent copy for myself. I just wasn't going to leave it there. Second appearance of Gambit. Uh, Incredible Hulk, number 331. Just early... Uh, Todd McFarlane Hulk uh, artwork. So, yeah. Um, see, X Men number eight, first appearance of Belladonna. I found two copies of this. And, uh, all right. Remember, I was talking about Cowboy Bebop a little earlier. All right. So, um, I found number four, three, two, and the Money Book number one. Uh, these are all first prints. They got to be first prints. I believe they're from 2012. Um, number one's the one you want. This book, let me see. The last last sale of this, I think it went for like 30 bucks. But uh, when you got the whole set uh, in high grade, it seems to regularly go for about $100, $125. So, uh, yeah, that book I've seen go for anywhere from the, the last one sold for about 30 bucks, but um, I've seen it go for like 90 on its own. So it, it fluctuates. It's kind of low right now, but I'm sure it'll bounce back. Uh, that book has been doing that forever. So as far as I know, it, it just fluctuates like that. So, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I was happy to find these. These are was a really cool find. Okay, let's move that over here. Anything there? Nope. All right. That's not good. <laughs> All right. So, uh, funny thing about this, these books here, uh, this was from a convention, the Yorba Linda Comic Con. Uh, it's getting, it's getting really cutthroat out there at these cons. Um, yeah. So the there was actually. <laughs> One of the booths I was in, there was the vendor was actually just yelling into the crowd at nobody in particular. There will be no discounts. There will be no discounts. <laughs> uh, it's kind of ridiculous, but yeah, that's kind of the, the, the state. It, uh, th that's that's kind of how things are going over here in Southern California right now. Um, so uh, it's gotten a lot tougher to to find books. I'm still managing to do it, but uh, it's it's getting a lot harder. Um, Okay, this is a uh, Marvel superheroes the winter special from 1991 first appearance of a uh, squirrel girl. Um, it was actually um, bagged in with uh, these two books and it was ten dollars for the set. Um, it appeared to be in really high grade. Uh, I, I did notice that it had a sticker here. Um, I think Longshanks helped me find this book. Um, and uh, it was a really evil sticker. It was really stuck on hard and uh, if if I would have just kind of like peeled it off, it would have, it would just rip this whole corner off. So um, I very carefully uh, removed that sticker and it took me a long time, but now it looks like I'm gonna have to get it pressed uh, from, you know, just pressing on it. It kind of left a little warp there. So I was happy to get that. Um, and the rest of the stuff is, I think there was a couple of $3 books, but uh, pretty much dollar books. Uh, what if, um, Number 44, you know, Venom Bliss Punisher, got this for a buck. Uh, Fables number 28, <laughs> really good story. I thought I needed to upgrade this book, but it turns out my copy is really nice shape. It's the uh, number 29 I needed to upgrade. <coughs> so this is uh, a giant werewolf uh, fighting in World War II. So if that sounds interesting to you, you might want to pick that up. So it was a fun read. Uh, X-23 Target X number 5 with Kimura for a buck. Uh, Speed Force number 1, first appearance of Cobalt Blue. Um, X-Men number 65, I guess I got another copy of this. The uh, first Cecilia Reyes. Catwoman number 82, it's a Harley Quinn appearance. I believe that's her. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 597, I believe this is the first appearance of the American Sun Armor. Uh, the second print is the one that you want though. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Um, 
Annual number 22, first appearance of Speedball, who becomes Penance. Yeah, I think something like that. Um, let's see. Amazing Spider-Man number 229 and also number 230. Uh, this is a great read. Uh, it really shows how hopeless it is fighting the Juggernaut. <laughs> uh, like, So it was a good read and uh, I couldn't leave him there for a buck apiece. Uh, this is Web of Spider-Man 97, first appearance of Nightwatch. Uh, Hulk number 212, first appearance of the Constrictor. Uh, not in the greatest shape, but high grade. I think you get this for like 10 bucks. So, uh, Mage Book Volume 2. I actually, found, in the last haul, I showed uh, Mage Book Volume 1. I found that in a dollar bin, so I went ahead and bought this as well. So, I continue that whenever I start reading it. Uh, Action Comics number 417. I think I paid $3 for this. And the only reason I did that was it's in such nice shape. See, look at the colors on it, and it's really, really nice shape. And lastly, I found uh, Batman Long Halloween, uh, number one in near mint shape. And it was loose. <laughs> it was loose in that box. I got this for three bucks as well. So that was a cool find there. Let's see, okay. And uh, this con. Um, as always, I stuck to the cheap bins. Uh, this is, I think, nothing but dollar books. Uh, Sandman number 69 is the first appearance of the new Sandman, Daniel, I forget his name. Invincible number 110, uh, the uh, rape issue. Um, this is Extreme Super Tour. Um, it's actually signed by Rob Liefeld right there, and I believe that's Stephen Platt, his signature right there. Um, Extreme Toro 93, got some more sig signatures on that. Uh, Irredeemable number one. Guardians of the Galaxy number 24, this is the return of Thanos in there. And number 25, uh, graphic music number one, the first color appearance of Madman. Uh, she, Judgment Knight. Um, I showed the other half of this, I believe, in my last haul, so I, I have the set again. I'm pretty sure I already had the set, but. Uh, bought it again for whatever reason. Uh, Salmon Max Freelance Police Special number one. If you ever come across this book, uh, I recommend you pick it up. It's usually cheap and it's really funny. Uh, X New X Men number one thirty four. It's the first appearance of Quentin Quire. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer number twenty. J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, Green Lantern number twenty five. Let me see what I pay. For. Okay, uh, these three books are 50 cents. Uh, Green Lantern number 25, um, first appearance of, you know, the color spectrum, you know, the red lanterns, blue lanterns, all that stuff. Got two copies. And also I found uh, Green Lantern new 52 number 20. I know I said I was going to stop buying these, but I was going to leave it there for 50 cents. First appearance of Jessica Cruz, right? Alright. Okay, uh, this book... Infinity Inc. I walked into a store. I went to the dollar bin. This is the only book I actually found there. Um, first appearance of uh, Tigress, uh, Artemis Croc is Tigress, and first Becky Sharp Hazard. So, yeah. Uh, I remember Vin Crew was showing this book a long time ago. All right. Uh, all right. Let me see. Uh, this is Deadpool versus Old Man Logan. I paid cover price for this. Um, that new that mutant that appeared in number one, I believe her name's Miranda. She actually um, her power as part of her power, she she was able to transfer Wolverine's adamantium skeleton and claws into Deadpool, so you could actually see him <laughs> going around murdering people with uh, Wolverine's power, which was pretty cool. Um, also found another copy of this variant. First appearance of Miranda, uh, I believe that's her name, right? So. Yeah, I got that, and oh, I actually got this one for two bucks. Let's see. I gotta start finding a place to put this stuff down. <laughs> All right. So, um, not too long after I found this uh, Killer Be Killed number one, uh, I found this whole set for $24, which uh, brings it to $2.40 a piece. So, I got 
issues one through 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and I got another number one. Uh, this one's actually a little nicer than this one, so they're both near mint, but that one's uh, that one's a better copy. So yeah, cool. Happy to have that. Let's see. All right. Uh, this is Thanos number th 13, first appearance of, uh, what, is it, what are they calling him, King Thanos. It was a good read. Um, and also the uh, the future Ghost Rider. Um, I don't want to give anything away. I know, yeah, well, yeah, I'd rather not say anything just in case uh, nobody knows about that yet. That's probably going for, what, 15 bucks right now. Uh, I paid cover price for this. Uh, I found this iZombie uh, number one for a dollar. Um, so yeah, kind of an interesting read. Uh, I didn't think it was. I didn't think I would uh, like it, but um, it was because the show kind of looks lame. I, I never actually look, watched it myself, but just whatever preview I saw, I didn't. It didn't really interest me. But I guess they always do that with TV shows or movies when they try, you know, when they bring over uh, comic book properties. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, at this store, uh, they had a bunch of sets that were half, half price or half off whatever they had marked them at. I found this Star Wars Tag and Binker Dead set for $10, so it was uh, originally marked at 20 Got number one and number two. Um, this set probably goes for what, about 60 bucks. Is that about right? I also found this Killer Be Killed number one, uh, second print variant, and I got this for cover price. So that was cool. Oh, this, um, this is probably one of the worst, uh, the worst times at a con I've had in a long, long time. Uh, I, I couldn't really, I didn't find any, any deals. Uh, I, I found these books and I thought that was a decent deal, but when I actually went through them later on, when I got home, I found all the digital codes had been pulled. So, uh, so as a uh, Deadpool and the Mercs for money, number one, uh, they were, all these books were four for three bucks. So it came out to a dollar 33, dollar 33 a piece. Uh, totally awesome. Hulk number three, first appearance of uh, kid Kaiju, um, Spider-Man, Deadpool, number one, uh, Deadpool, number one, uh, Deadpool 3.1, first appearance of Masacre, uh, cable, uh, Deadpool cable split second, number two three and uh this generation's uh matina variant so i already have this but i you know i wasn't gonna leave it there for that cheap but maybe i should have and i regret buying all this stuff now <laughs> all right so uh all right we're getting to the end here yeah all right good uh so all this stuff i got all of this at a big to-do store um one of those road trips so at uh, Comics, Tunes, and Toys. All right, so this is a Witchblade number 130, the cover D, re the retailer incentive. Uh, I found uh, with a lot of these, um, like, bad girl uh, retailer incentive covers, uh, they're kind of desirable. So I just took a chance on it. I paid $3 for it, I believe. And um, I believe that's Aphrodite 9 with the Witchblade. Um, yeah, I don't think this book goes for much, but uh, it looks like it has potential. Uh, Wolverine uh, versus Hulk number eight. Uh, just a kind of a hard book to find. I got this one for three bucks. Uh, Thanos Imperative, the second print variant. High grade, this book can go for about 30 bucks. Uh, $4. Uh, Wolverine, uh, this is a one in 50 variant uh, for number one. Um, pay four bucks for this. Uh, Art, this is an Art Adams variant, Wolverine number one. Uh, it's a one in 25 and I paid $4 for that. Uh, <coughs> Long Shanks passed this book over to me. He'd found one for himself as well. Uh, Punisher number one. This is a, uh, Neil Adams variant one in 25. I paid $9 for this. Um, I feel, um, <laughs> after talking to Long Shanks, I, 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 I agree with him. This book seems like it has a lot of potential to blow up. Uh, Batman number 684, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a Nightwing variant. 
three bucks. Uh, this is hardware, the platinum edition. I got this for two dollars. First appearance of hardware. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, spawn number two seventeen. In high grade, this book goes for about fifteen dollars. Um, I think I paid three bucks for this. Yeah, three bucks. <coughs> Old Man Logan number twenty two, the variant edition. Time kind of a callback to Hulk one eighty one, the Wendigo there. Uh, this is a Punisher number one. This is a second print variant to the variant. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of odd, but also pretty cool. Um, these don't really command a lot of money, but I just it just seems like a real oddity. Um, all new X Men or all new Wolverine number four. This is the um, <laughs> the Deadpool variant. So really cool. I paid for this. I paid six dollars for that. Um, did I tell you what? Nine dollars for that. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, Teen Titans number seventeen. First appearance of Tim Drake as Batman. Uh, Green number Green Arrow number one hundred one. First uh, or first uh, the death of Oliver Queen. Uh, Warlock and the Infinity Watch number what is this forty. Uh, low print run book. Uh, I believe it's like the third to last in the series. Uh, also, um, say Thanos appearance. Uh, Wolverine. Uh, Marvel Comics presents number 85. First appearance of Cyber. This one's actually signed by Peter David. And the reason I, I actually found this book. Were, well, actually, I, I was heading that way anyway. But there was a kid right next to me digging in, uh, digging in the bin. And he pulled up number 86, and I noticed it was signed. I was like, hey, that's that's pretty cool. Fine, man. It's a, he got a little signature there. And he's like, oh, cool. And he just took off with it. And um, so I finished up my box, and, and I went to look in this one. I was like, hey, maybe I'll find this book signed. And sure enough, it was there, signed by Peter David. So very cool find. <coughs> got this one for 4 bucks, and that one. Oh, this one's two fifty. Uh, Dark Horse presents a uh, fifth anniversary special first appearance of uh, Sin City, <coughs> specifically Marvin Goldie. I got this one for four bucks. Uh, Superman Red Sun, uh, number one. I found another copy of this. This was actually uh, was sitting on the wall there uh, for six dollars. So, yeah, I was happy to get that. And uh, it's funny thing, I just found a set of this, and uh, I was saying that. Um, I really wanted to read it, but I didn't want to uh, put a crease in the spine there. And I was looking at my bookshelf yesterday, and that's sitting right there. I've already owned <laughs> I've owned this trade for so long that I forgot I owned it, and I forgot I read it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but uh, another really cool book I found there. Oh, this this was already mine. Uh, yeah, this was six bucks. Uh, all right, uh, Zatanna Everyday Magic. So I went in this, it was right in the Zatanna section. It was like right there. It was like one of the first books. Uh, ended up getting this for six bucks. Check that out. What an awesome find. Really hard, really, really tough book to find. Uh, another book I pulled off of the wall was this Daredevil number 111. First appearance of Silver Samurai. Uh, ended up paying, uh, I believe, $10 for this. So uh, yeah, yeah, it was, that was definitely a good pickup. And uh, last book I picked up there, Green Lantern number 16, first appearance of Star Sapphire. So um, believe it or not, I paid four, I, I think I paid four dollars for this. And yeah, four bucks. But uh, it's really, really beat up. I mean, uh, if you, you look at that, there's a bunch of holes there. It looks like somebody had sewed the book together. Like, <laughs> uh, but you know, like, yeah, you know, somebody. I, I guess they might have, you know, pulled the uh, the string that was in there. But it definitely looks like somebody sewed this together. Uh, the front cover is uh, has come off, but everything else is pretty much there. Uh, low grade, but you know, really cool book. Um, yeah, definitely four bucks is a really good find. And last, oh, the Grail book that I had mentioned before, right at the beginning. I mean, if you <laughs> if you stuck it out this long. Um, check it out. So, uh, during a road trip, walked into a store, I uh, scanned the wall. Uh, somehow I didn't see this because I scanned it twice. I didn't notice it. 
And then I went back to the counter and I looked at the wall again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I saw this sitting up there. New Mutants 98. So I so uh, I, I lean over the counter and I, I try to get as close as I possibly can so I could see the price on this thing. I, I was like, what? So as soon as I saw the price, I asked the clerk if he could pull it down for me and uh, handed it over to me. And I was like, oh, well, sold. I ended up getting, <laughs> I got this book for $80. So they knew what it was. I mean, um, yeah, they, you know, they definitely knew what this book was, but um, I guess the, uh, I don't know. Uh, but they were, they were happy that I was so happy to, to find it. So that was very cool. Um, so I guess they thought it was going to a good home. So they, <laughs> they were like, all right, yeah, good for you, man. <laughs> So yeah, I got the New Mutants 98, uh, first appearance of Deadpool, Gideon, and the uh, fake Domino, but uh, still, you know, uh, what an awesome book to have. Um, really unbelievable price. Well, before the uh, before the movie, the news of the movie uh, came out, I think this was going for like 60 bucks, so I paid like $20 more than that. Um, this is now the most expensive book that I own. So... Uh, yeah, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, I, I want to thank everybody who uh, stuck it out uh, this far. And um, yeah, I, let me know what you guys think of this haul. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with it, um, especially this New Mutants 98. This is definitely a book I didn't think. I, I, I thought it was just going to keep climbing and just get further and further out of reach. And uh, I, I pretty much thought that any deal like this had pretty much dried up you know, a couple years ago, but I don't know. I just, you got to keep it. I guess, <laughs> I guess keeping at it, you know, just, just really paid off. Um, I always say this, or maybe not in the videos, but <laughs> in comments and in person, but, uh, you, people would be really surprised at how many times I, I leave a comic book store and not buy anything. Um, it, like I said, it's really hard to, to find deals and, I mean, finding something like this can can really like re-energize you. <laughs> you're getting kind of down. You're like, ah, forget it. I'm almost already I'm already getting burned out. I'm going to conventions. I feel like I spend more getting in than actually buying there <laughs> most times now. And uh, but anyway, thanks again for sticking it out. Uh, let me know uh, what you thought of. Uh, let me know what you think of the haul, uh, or just you know say what's up. Um, this is Weapon X Comics. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great night.